All right, guys, let's uh, segment out this jaw. Uh, first of all, I didn't do a high quality artifact removal on this uh, DICOM data, data set because I had not anticipated in segmenting out anything. I'm just doing this really quick to show you um, what it could be what could be done. So you go into the, the jaw segmentation module and you highlight the condyl, condyles first, um, left and right, and you just use the paint tool and switch over to the contralateral condyle area and paint that in. <clears throat> and then once you have that all filled in, you're going to uh, hit next on that module right there to the right side. Um, being careful not to highlight any of the maxilla And so now you're, it's asking you to pick a point of origin for the growth. And, you know, I've never really found one that, that works better than another. But once you do that, um, you hit next, and you're going to develop your threshold values by sliding that bar. And what you're looking for is for the mandible to be green and anything else you want to extract out to be um, pink. And so you keep adjusting that slide bar until you remove as much pink as possible from the the mandible um, and you go through your various slice planes looking for um, the teeth and in particular areas up there in the condyle to not be pink and once you feel like you've established a good kind of uh, threshold value in this case it's going to hover somewhere between 370, 399 and 410-ish and so you see I'm playing back and forth now I'm picking up too much of the skull uh, the base of the skull there and so now we're going back to that kind of value that's going to just eliminate any extraneous data outside of the mandible and so it's fine-tuning that. Okay, once you find that you're going to hit finish and you're going to uh, have a rendering process occur and it's going to reinsert those files as STLs on top of your rendered um, skull view as you'll see here in a second. And like I said, I wish, you know, I, I didn't have a high artifact removal on this case so it it's not as good as it would normally be and I also have upper and lower scans superimposed on this jaw here. So you, then you, I just, if you didn't see that, I just opened up the um, jaw motion module and it, it brings those right in. And I'm going to remove my um, intraoral scans here. So now you can see the difference in the, the mandible and the maxilla really clearly. I highlighted up different colors for you guys. And so all you do is go to f uh, export as, and it will save it as an STL. So it's export, it's called export uh, jaws in current position. And then you get those STL files and then you could do whatever the heck you want with them. Um, and like I said, I spent like 30 seconds segmenting this out. If I was more careful, we could have better quality models. So super easy.